What's up, everybody? Today I'm animating some giant brains. This scene's gonna be pretty cool, actually. So there's two brains. Um, these are these actually are part of the ships. Oh, by the way, this is a giant spoiler alert if you're following the game. Um, spoiler alert! All right, the whole stream, pretty much all the streams lately, will be spoiler alerty streams. So these giant brains control the guidance systems for um, for the the tower, the enemies, basically their their spaceship. <clears throat> oh, let me turn this off. Um, so yeah, this is part of the very end game. The left one actually will be turned off, or maybe the right one will be turned off. And then, um, as soon as you find a way, or as soon as, as soon as you beat the final boss, basically, you come back to this room, and, um, well, first there's a cutscene before that where the lightning boss, um, she basically takes the dark energy that she stole from your ship, and puts it back into the left brain so she brings the left brain back alive which means that basically these giant huge brains here could communicate with other giant brains back from their home galaxy and basically start a war so that's what you're doing here at the end of it you're basically meditating and stopping this giant brain from communicating with the other brains by forcing it into a coma with your meditative powers zero helps you out Bell helps you out, and that's basically how the game ends. So, <clears throat> all right. So I'm doing it. That's what I'm doing. What's up, Diamond Killer? Okay, so. I wanted to do one little thing to the area pattern. Tower brain. So if the abs of X minus A dot W2 Is less than two. I basically want to make a little bigger platform right in the middle. Oh. Okay, so I need to get an XD here. So if Y, I need mean, YD now. So if YD is less than or equal to two and XD, Greater than or equal to three. Or 
yd is greater than 2 and xd is greater is greater than or equal to 2 All right, I'm almost ready to get started with the art part. All right, good enough. Okay, so I want to make these these brains like breathe sort of. I wonder what it would look like with some more light around it too. Gotta be put down afterwards. All right, that looks weird. Maybe even seven. Move these down a little bit. Maybe they do look good. I don't know. I kind of liked it without the light on it. next to him like that maybe just maybe you can put some just to the left and right Thanks, baby. huh does oh you got the you got the waving high emote <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Thanks, Tommy Killer. Yeah, I'm just sitting here on a Sunday, chilling. <clears throat> My lovely lady, she's cooking. Oh, it's a nice day. How's your day going, Tommy? Okay, there's four lights now. Oh, 
Huh. Alright, so what if the left ones... Because... That's the whole story part here, is the left ones... Procrastinating, nice. Oh, dang. I love procrastinating. I think it's an important skill. Anybody who doesn't believe otherwise, anybody who believes otherwise, I'll, I'll fight you. Okay, um, so there's just, that should be, be the right ones. This might kind of illustrate the point. You work better under pressure? Oh, there you go, right? What if these were lamps? And they were just the far ones. Seems to be a little more ambient light, I think. Rocket Bunny, what's up? <laughs> Was that your zombie brains? Was that you saying brains in zombie voice? <laughs> How you doing today? Oh. Here's what I was seeing on the other side. Yeah, same here. Really good. Yep, I'm just sitting here like, well, not sitting. I'm standing here. Having a good time drawing some brains. What's up, Red Saint? I've actually just taken a, like an actual shot of some plastic brains and just rotated it around and stuff. I'm going to play with the colors and then compress it down to like just three or four different shades of this pink color or whatever. So it's really nice, simple pixel art. But for now, it's still just kind of be like this 16-bit look. The spoiler alert, by the way. Spoilers! Oh, sweet, you found an article on neural nets? Right on. I think this edging could be easier with like a little more opacity. There we go.
What percent am I done with song reader? Like 90? Rough guess. Okay, so. That all looks better. Favorite language other than C, C++, or C Sharp? Ooh, favorite language? Hmm. My favorite language besides my favorite language. Uh, I'm looking through all of them like JavaScript. No, PHP maybe. No, um, like Bash script, definitely not. Lolcat's pretty good. What's up, T? How's it going? Lolcat, yeah. Oops. Salad. What's up, salad dogs? <laughs> does look a little meaty, huh? Kind of like almost like intestines, but they're actually brains. So I'm going to make them, I'm going to animate them next and like kind of make them squish in and out and turn them into pixel art and stuff. I have not tried Swift. Oh, you know what? I really do like Objective-C. Objective-C is a pretty great language. <laughs> Get Swifty. Get Swifty. I know. Get Swifty. I know that doesn't have. Does that does that have anything to do with that Swift? Actually, no, it doesn't. I remember that episode of Rick and Morty. Get Swifty. It's a good episode, right? I love Rick and Morty. They had Rick and Morty VR at PAX East. I did not wait in line like the two hours or whatever just to go play it. But I heard some people played it, and it was, like, interesting. It was VR. Rick and Morty. Okay, so just for shits and giggles, what would this look like with, like, 4-bit color? Lolcat, yeah. <laughs> oh, it's lol code. Oh, right, right, right. Lol code. Sorry, I meant lol code. The language that is lol cat e. Yeah, yeah. This is it. Lol code. Sorry, I meant lol code that whole time. I said lol cat, but that was a mistake. Lol code. <clears throat> oh right, yeah, yeah. Love all. Okay, so let's let's um merge those. All right, now we got like a. Can turn this off. There we go. <laughs> Oh, right. God, I want to write my own language one day. Make it all crazy. You've never watched Rick and Morty, really?
That's a color. That's pretty good, actually. You, interprets images as code? Whoa. It worked great? Wow. That's crazy. That's an amazing accomplishment. What if it was lower, like only four colors? Nah, no, we need more than four. See, it, I want to choose the palette though. Oh, or maybe make all that stuff bright. Ah, that's interesting. What if this was all bright? Yeah, C superset. Wow. That's crazy. That looks pretty crazy. <laughs> Try it. See what this looks like. This is so crazy. All right, let's see what that looks like in the game. <laughs> it starts out as a generic song and then turns into a troll. Oh my god, it worked! The crazy highlights are sweet! Yeah, I just gotta make them breathe, though. Cool, I love it. <laughs> That's cool. I like this part, jokes on them. You got a damaged heart? Man, T. Oh man. Could, yeah, it could be. Boom, 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 boom. Bum 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 bum
That's a little better with its brightness. Wow. It's only 100 meters, man. Okay, so to make this animated, I'll need to kind of squish it in on itself. Man, oh, it's crazy. Okay, so we got this all set up to animate now. Got this single layer of brain. Now, um, I wanna make it look like it's kind of like moving in and out. I'll isolate different sections here of the brain matter to that will breathe, sort of. Squish inward. Wow. <laughs> it's fun for the metal detectors to go off. I bet it is. If you have like a really good excuse, you're like, ah ha, gotcha. Oops. Okay, so I also want to darken this a little.
Okay, that's like kind of good for like a third frame. We need like another frame in between those. You got a concussion yesterday? What? You're not allowed to get concussions. Is Oh, yeah. Dang, man. You got a concussion from soccer? You guys must have been hauling ass. Going so fast to be able to hit each other that hard? Dang. Yeah, look at that. Oh, that's cool. That's almost got like a blood pumping motion to it now. <laughs> Don't do that, Rocket. Dang. Sounds like a really hard hit. Ah. Pretty hardcore. Okay, so yeah, all right, we got one part of it pumping now. I think this other one will start pumping right here in this frame. Yeah, so we'll start this like section right here. We'll get this one to pump a little bit too. Wait, add add that there. There we go. Jeez, you're crazy, man. Oh, whoops. I can always forget to do the darkness part. It does, yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, it does. But it, actually, the image I, I used as a reference was basically, was brains. But it ends up looking more like intestines here. Whoa.
Hardcore. Playing that hard. That's rough. Okay, this one's going to squeeze a little more. Fun times. Dang. You know, there's an ancient saying, live by the soccer ball, die by the soccer ball. Oops. Where's Bafu? I don't know. I think he kind of broke a while ago. I don't know. You do. Hard and aggressive football players. Soccer. We call it soccer. Sorry. You're living in Portland now, though, right? So does that mean that... Um, you are starting to call it soccer yet? Or do you still call it football? And everybody's like, wait, what? Football? It's probably super confusing. No, 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 no. <laughs> Oh, you call it American football. Oh. And now they get it. They understand. All right. <laughs> nice. I like this t shirt with the definition. Oh, yeah. Same with Swedish sometimes. Sometimes Swedish can sound like they almost have an American accent. You're like, where are you from? But so close to our sound of English confuses us. So this bit's going to bulge now. Wait. <laughs> right? This makes a lot of sense, T. Grip Gary, what's up, man? How you doing? Oh yeah, Nuclear Throne. Doing well? Good to hear. Happy Sunday. Hope you're doing some fun Sunday-ish stuff today. What are you doing today, Grim Gary? What's on Grim Gary's schedule?
Okay, so this one sort of needs to be like part way. Go same thing, go up there. Down through this little strait of Gibraltar, around the Cape Horn, and then right here past India. There we go. So this is going to squish a little. Relaxing, make your game's camera zoom based on combat, cool. Oh yeah, there you go. Relaxing time. Cool. Good, man. Good. That sounds great. I'm having a nice relaxed day too. Sunday. Just having a nice glass of wine. My lovely lady's in there cooking up some like awesome soup. Just drawing pictures. Oh man, it's so nice to just draw. It's like so much less brain work than programming. So I don't know, it's kind of a really nice thing to do on a relaxing Sunday for yours truly. Starting to look good. Ooh, sourly aged rum. Ooh, good, good move. Oh yeah, get into drawing, man. If you really want to, you should try it a little bit. It's so satisfying. Yeah, totally. Just to have a break from programming. And still be doing something sort of productive for your project or whatever you're working on, you know? It's so nice to just uh, kind of like switch brain gears for a minute and allow, allow the things you're programming to become subconscious so your subconscious can work on the problems for you while you're doing art. It's a great combo. You got to learn how to program yourself program your subconscious mind to do half of the work for you so when you go back to the keyboard you got most of it already done thought up conceptualized visualized new tablet cool man oh yeah oh how are mine doing yeah mine's definitely like at an angle <laughs> it's probably why it works so well for me it's like got the perfect angle. Okay. So let's push on this first frame. This first frame, everything's like kind of out. I want this one to be more in on the first frame right there. Yeah, I got the bamboo, that's what I got too, yeah. Yeah. Oh, some inspiration. I found a lot of inspiration 
for making pixel art by watching people's um, time lapse or speed pixel art. Like that's what I would just always type that in on YouTube, speed pixel art. And I would find some really rad stuff or even speed painting. It's really nice to see some really nice, like fast speed uh, digital painting. So you see an artist like develop something in, in time lapse. It's so nice because you get to see a, the overall vision and stuff they had, how they how they brought it all together, how they drew it and stuff. Um, and that can be really powerful too. Just like, you know, like it gets me inspired. I don't know, maybe that gets you inspired too. What gets you inspired? Do you know what gets you inspired? Yeah, let's make this little chunk right there go really far in. Maybe it had two. Throw some levels on here. Very random little things. Oh, you just get the light bulb moments? Oh, nice. Cool. You're watching Flash Gordon? Cool. Yeah? Nice. Right on. <laughs> Kappa. Kappa ha ha. All right, this one, this little bit is this chunk. Is only like part of the way squished inward. <laughs> uh, This is a great one. Wolf rock on. Damn it, that's not it. It doesn't work for me. <laughs> ah. Oh yeah, it's super good. I love it. Wait, you want to draw do drawing things like this? Oh, cool. These are great. Wow. I like this. These are pretty simple. I like them. I like this art. Oh, there you go.
So squish a little, squish a little, just squish a little. Oh, I see there's only three frames. That's what gives us this crazy cadence. I know, right? This is going to look cool in the game. Can't wait for to put this in. It's like this one, maybe it should have actually shifted a little to the left. Yeah, I know, they look like something else, right? But yeah, they're, they're well, if you see it in the, once, I, once I put it in the game, it might make a little more sense. But yeah, one of them is the left, and one of them is the right, and there's two giant ones on the sides of the screen. And they're actually, they're actually sort of the, the brains of the ship, which is the tower, which is, this is a big spoiler. Spoiler alerts. There's like spoiler alerts all over this stream, all over this video. What's up, Crubber? Yeah, I was wearing my wizard stuff, man. That was both GDC and PAX. I was dressing like a wizard. Living heart pill. Yeah, it will look kind of like that. All right, salad. See you, man. Have a good homework session. Have a good rest. Oh, yeah. So this little bit just shipped a little, like a couple pixels to the left. That's all. Later, son. <laughs> wow, you do need a warning for that. That's dangerous. Look how much metal there was up in there like that. Nice. Yeah, it's kind of like I'm trying to do something that's not quite like um too much like Super Metroid, you know? Like I I like the concept of having a brain in the game for me is that you use your meditative skill to overcome the brain, right? Your meditation is something where you're using a higher, like a higher version of your brain, a higher frequency, higher waveforms. You know, your brain is on another level. And that's what meditation is um, in this game. You're, you're just basically putting yourself into something that's, you know, evolutionarily possible for us as human beings. It's just that we know how to do that with meditation. Yeah, so the hidden message is, you know, you'll see when you play the game and you play you play through the ending, there's a hidden message to it all. I don't want to ruin it or spoil, spoil too much. Jace. Jace, man. There, how about like that? Yeah, that's pretty good. Now it's got a little more pump to it. And then this thing needs to move a little. And this one too.
Java or JavaScript? What, like my preference? If I had to choose to let one of those? Oh. I don't really know Java. I guess I would choose JavaScript because, like, that's the devil I know. <laughs> I don't really like either of those languages that much myself. I don't know what it is. This is something about them. You like Java? Yeah, I don't want, I don't mean to diss on Java. I know Java is a cool language and stuff. It's just not my flavor. And JavaScript just kind of scares me. You love JavaScript? Crazy. You like Java a lot? Cool. Nice. It's a trap. What's a trap? Which part's a trap? Ah, stop, stop, <laughs> stop. Whoa, you have, it's Java and Lua? Crazy. C sharp, yeah. Oh, you like Java's garbage collector? Cool. Oh, it, it, the trap is Java or JavaScript? Now I get it. Uh, I would imagine you can. Why wouldn't you be able to? Okay, this one I want to squish inward next. The last I saw, he was almost finished. He was getting it to run on compiled, well, to not only C, but also he could make it go to LLVM. And it looked almost like complete to me, and that was like a couple months ago. I think he's doing well with it. I can't wait for Jai. Makes me excited to write Songbringer 2. I'll be like, oh yes, I'm going to write it all in Jai. Then I'll be like, I don't need C++ anymore. I don't, fine, I don't need, I have a better solution than C or C++. Yes.
What's up, Barcore, man? Yeah, the game's coming really well, man. Incredibly well. Everything about it. Xcode, yeah, I don't use Xcode anymore. I just use it from the command line. I use, um, I got two Vims set up. Two double Vims. So I basically have four Vims that I use. And when I need to go debug, I do actually open up Xcode. But for the most part, I can just run everything from the command line. <laughs> yeah, and pixel art braids. Yay! Oh, I know. I love him, man. I'm f oh. Clock, what's up? What's up, Clock? What's up, everybody? Yeah, so I'm doing some pixel art brains today. This is a spoiler alert. I'm working on the end of the game right now. Life's great. Life's incredible. Um, I just got back from PAX. PAX was really, really great. Oh yeah? How's how's everything for you guys? How's how's the RVU hardcore? How are you, Clock? Did I make that darker? I wanted this to be darker. Damn it. Damn it all. This is like 17. There we go. Can't complain? That's great. Good to hear. I had a really great time at PAX showing the game, showing Songbringer. Um, man, there was like some really, really just incredible moments there. You need even net code.net? Oh yeah, you want to go back to game dev? Yeah, I'm re I'm really good. Things have been great here. Um, just really amazing progress, you know, with the with the game. It's almost finished, and then it's coming out this summer. And PAX was really amazing showing it there. Um, and GDC was also an incredible experience showing it there. Uh, yeah, but just I'm happy to be back in the game dev groove here, right? Yeah, I, was, I got to dress as a wizard. If you didn't see, you should check out like go on my Twitter or whatever on Twitch. Yeah, the link's on my Twitter, but like um, there's an interview on Twitch with John Carnage and Jose Sanchez and Tom Petalino. It was fun. Got to talk about it. a really good time and seeing so many other great indie games and um and triple a games there oh my god there's just a lot of great creations out there it was very very humbling for me to be there amongst so many other great video games and creators of video games it was really cool I've never experienced anything like that before. So I need to get my ass to more PAXs and more GDCs, more E3s and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah, the wizard. The wizard with the foo, too. You gotta know there's some foo there. Oops. Okay, so the last little bit of brain is that this last bit here in the middle. Oh, there's two more bits actually that gotta move. Okay, I'm thinking this bit kind of moves in and this moves out. 
Yeah, it's showing your game in a con. Right? Or just having a game to show? Yeah. You can do it. <laughs> why, did it why did it turn into a zombie survival? Uh... Okay, so it should be in one there. Ah, oh, there we go. All right, so this goes in, but just a little bit in. Mother Brain is everywhere! Totally inspired by Mother Brain. Admittedly. Thanks, Arcor. Yeah, those are the those are the old ones. I gotta make newer ones now. There's like all new hero art since then. Some tweaks to the levels and stuff like that. So what guy what um what games you guys been playing? Or what games are you excited about? Tell me about the games that are your gaming. All right, there's only one little bit left to do. I'm excited to put, I'm so excited to put this in the game. These are giant too. I mean your character is like only that big. You got Turok 2? Cool. Remaster? Overwatch? Nice. They had a huge um, stage for Overwatch at PAX. Of course. Blizzard always does it right. Pixel Privateers? Oh, Battleground? Yeah. What's Pixel Privateers? Yeah, we need to do that. Oh, pretty soon. We almost done? Yeah, dinner's ready. Dinner's ready? Okay, I'll shut it down the stream in so well, about five minutes. Cool, it still has to cool down, so you want to take like ten minutes. Ten something. minutes? Mm -hmm. Cool. Okay. Ten minute mark. Dinner's on the... Oh, it's cooling down. Dinner's cooling down. Did you hear that? Is this fun? Dinner call. <laughs> no more 24 hour stream. Well, I'm almost done with this image anyway. The question is, do I want this to go in or out? <laughs> Gotta get that dinner. Mm-hmm. Right, so this frame has that out. So, oh, this is gonna go in. Yeah, that'll be a nice little 
It's a good little time waster. Cool. I got a bunch of games I bought that I haven't played yet. Uh huh. Oops. Oh, this is already in the dark. Here it can be sort of... Maybe there it'll squish outward, actually. Yeah. So this squat part will squish out. Nice. Yeah, this looks awesome. Okay, well, we still have 10 minutes left. Let's see if we can get us in the game. Um, turn off the gray background. Turn back on this little thingy and uh, oh I think that's actually ready to go let's render that rain render it is it's pretty good okay so I rendered out those images is there anything that needs to be done to Entities. No, that's just brain E. Oh, we're good to go. Except for the animate and M delay, but that's already 1.57. It's probably gonna need to be at least 0 0.57. Why is there an H? Alright, let's see what this looks like. Okay, that was too slow. Okay, so I need to do a custom animation for the other side. Oh, and at least flipping X. Whoops. So yeah, I need to do another animation for the left side. And maybe I need to tone down the overall brightness. those highlights yeah let's try with a little less 
or if they're a little faster maybe too. Not twice as fast actually. <laughs> They're super frenetic now. Wow, that's a little too fast. Alright, cool. I liked it back there. It's pretty good. Uh, Alright, good day. It's cool. Got some brains all animated. I like it about that. I'm probably going to tone down those highlights so they're like less bright. Um, and I don't know, maybe add a little texturing here and there. Oh, and, and draw a whole nother one for the left side. And then basically when you come into this room the first time, the left one, um, the left one is already, is dead basically. And then it gets activated later and you have to stop it with your meditation. We must go faster. Uh, the fast one was kind of funny, right? It had a really funny feeling to it. It's like, what the hell is going on here? Oh, the Jello Jingler! Uh, well, so, yep, that's basically it for today's stream. We'll see it one last time. I'll, I'll look at it from a distance. Yeah, this definitely has potential. I'll probably need to add some foreground fog as well to make the whole scene kind of like gel a little more. Yeah, I like how you can still see them and see them moving. That's cool. Yes! Yeah, thanks you guys. Have a good one, everybody.